this is a simple technique that you can do at home to transfer chalk pastels onto a note card to create some really cool designs. It requires some heavy duty paper, cardstock, note cards. These are index cards. It requires some chalk. Sidewalk chalk is possible, but your colors will be light and faint. Chalk pastels will work better. A shallow dish that can hold about an inch of water. You need a popsicle stick or something that has a stiff side that you can scrape color with. So a gift card might work. A butter knife or a spoon could also substitute for that. A covered work surface, a drying area, and some water. So I'm going to add about an inch of water into my baking dish. I don't need much. I'm just going to lay the card on top of the paper. Then I'm going to choose my colors and I'm going to gently hold one of my pastels or my chalk sticks and scrape small specks of dust and let them float onto the paper. I don't want to get this one wet. It won't dust then. I will continue to add colors and watch them separate in the water and swirl around. clouds of color. I'll use this light green. Then when I feel like my colors are mixing well together, I'm going to resist the urge to blend them together. I want them to stay separate and float right on top of the water. It's very tempting to go in to want to swirl, but I'm going to use some self-control and take my paper instead. Next, I will gently curl up the paper to make an upside down U and let it rest on the water pushing down the corners and lifting. Wow, I picked up quite a bit of chalk, but my paper did not touch the water here and there. I can try one more time and see what happens. Oh, it sure did. I'm going to set that one to dry and I've got plenty of chalk left to make another print. I'm going to find an area that's got lots of color still so that I get an even print. My card is not going under the water, it's just laying on top of the water. Get some really interesting speckled patterns. Set to dry. Here's our last one. There's some white space on there, but I think that it works well. Not going to touch it until it dries. And then after that, I can fold it into a card. To write a note inside. 
I can use it as a bookmark. I can put it in a frame and just enjoy the swirling colors. <laughs> 